Hello Math 133 students, I've received your request for help with this question, which is 1.3.13, where it shows up in your 1.3 homework, of course, and is up for debate. Okay, so I'm going to click view an example here. Suppose you are the president of the student government. You wish to conduct a survey to determine the student body's opinion regarding student services. The administration provides you with a list of names and phone numbers of the 350 registered students. Discuss a procedure you would use or you could follow to obtain a simple random sample of eight students. Okay, so and then obtain the sample. So they're going to have you do two things here. One is really talking about, you know, which of the following procedures, because if you look at the question behind there, it's kind of multiple choice. Um, so I, I think that's probably okay for most students, but let me just remind you that what you want is for it to be fair and that every student has an equally likely number chance of being chosen. Their number has an equal likely chance of being chosen. So you don't want something that would bias it. You don't want something that would, um, you know, I just pick the first ones or I pick my friends or whatever. So you want to make it so that it's a fair outcome. And it looks like um, they're talking about that a couple ways to do that. And one of the ways to do that, of course, is to actually use a random number table, which is different than what we did in the notes where we were using StatCrunch to come up with random numbers. Um, a random number table looks like this. So it's random numbers <laughs> and they are truly random. There's a lot of mathematics that goes into what makes something random that I'm not going to get into, but suffice to say, this is a random number table. Now remember that you're choosing between the numbers 1 and 350 here. So 1 and 350. So you have to look for numbers that would work. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at the first three in each one. So the first three numbers in, in the, each of the col or each of the rows until you get enough. So there's 425. Okay, 425 is too big. Our numbers stop at 350. We only have 350 students. So you have to ignore the 425. Then you move down to the next row and you can see it's 113. Well, 113 would work. 113 is within our numbers of zero, or excuse me, one to 350. So 113 would work. Then you take 727. Nope, 727 is no good. That's too big. 864. Nope, that's no good. That's too big. 015. Well, that's great because 015 would get us the person that's number 15. So you're doing three digits because the number one could be counted as 001. And then the number two would be 002 and so on. So you're basically, to make it fair, you're having all these people count as three digits. And that way you can capture with those zeros in this table, you can capture the zero people. All right, so 015 would be the next one. 317, 317 is okay. 142 is okay. 131 is okay. And that would get you five of them right there. And then if you want more than that, 985 is no good, 999 is no good. So then you go back up to the top. So you see you were picking three digits because that's how you would get to 350. So you picked three digits, so 425 was your first selection. So that's out now. So then you have to choose 5, 8, and it crosses over to the other side and takes the other 8. So 5, 8, 8, that's too big. 4, 1, 2 in the second row, that's too big. 9, 6, 1, that's too big, right? 6, 8, 8, too big. 4, 4, 3, too big. 8, 3, 0, too big. 7, 2, 9 is too big. 3, 2, 8, by the time, <laughs> the second to last row, 3, 28, there we go. Now I've got another one, 3, 28. 7, 6, 3 is too big and 9, 9, 6 is too big. And then you go back up to the top and pick the next three digits. So 7, 41, too big. 7, 6, 0, too big. 5, 7, 8, too big. 0, 9, 2. There we go. 0, 9, 2. That would be person number 92. Right? We'd have it. 480, too big. Is 269 is great. 992 is no good, 721 is no good, 587 is no good, and so on. And you keep going. Luckily, they only wanted five numbers on this one. So if you look at the answers, right, that's what they're doing, right? You can see it in what they were doing is what I couldn't do, which is underline those values. So you can see 113, 015, 317, 142, 131, 328, Right, and then 269 and 284, apparently there was one there at the very end. 
that's how you get the numbers. So you're kind of working your way down three digits in, work your way down the whole column, then go three digits more, which is the 588, and then use those three. And the only one in that section was the 328 in the middle. And then the rest of the rows were no good, and then, and so on. So you're taking three digits at a time, so that way you can get a number like 15 out of it based on 1, 5 being there. All right, I hope that helps.